right, looks like we have a picture now. Get it to focus. Hey, all right, sorry about that, guys. I'm just trying to get this to focus in for you. It looks blurry to me. Get the camera to focus a little better. All right. Good morning, Irene, Tracy, Mary, Jeanette, Brenda, Betsy, Anne, Georgia, and Lorna. Hi, guys. Made my first Halloween project this morning. And I was going to make a bag to put it in. So I thought I would uh, share this with you. I know we've done burlap before, but that was a real tight tightly woven burlap. I'm going to try this really coarse, rough burlap, which I haven't tried before with the Easy Press. I cut this spider out on um, the maker. I just am in love with cutting the fabric. I bonded it with heat and bond. This is the Ultra Hold. Um, you might be able to get away with the light, but I thought just because this is so porous, this is probably going to be a little tougher to stick to. This is just a light cotton fabric. I bonded it with the heat and bond, put it face up on the mat, the pink fabric mat, and I cut it with the rotary blade on the cotton setting, and then I just added uh, one pressure. All right, I'm going to try to read the comments as we go. I'm on my own today. So I looked on the website, and burlap is listed, and they're almost all at... Um, Tracy, I purchased my Cricut Maker last week and received my Easy Press yesterday. This is going to be a crafting week. Yes, they're both addicting. Let me just tell you that right now. Don't plan to get any housework done. But anyway, I looked on the website. Uh, burlap is pretty much 305 for 30 seconds on any of their um, types of iron-on. Since Heat and Bond's not listed, I'm going to just stick with that and start there anyway, and we'll see how it goes. Um, if you watched my last video, we made our own Teflon uh, pressing pillows. I am going to use that on here because the fact that this is so porous, hold on, my easy press is trying to do a safety shut off. The fact that this is so porous, I don't want the ad adhesive that's on the back to go through and um, stick my bag closed. The adhesive go to the back side of the bag. So I want to make sure I put this here. Plus that's non-stick so if it uh, melts through I don't care about it. This is just a real real rustic bag and I did it that way purposely because I wanted it to look spooky and Halloween-ish. So um, yes this is very rust. <laughs> excuse me very rustic. <coughs> excuse me. Um Monique, you're blurry. Is there everybody, anybody else blurry? I can't. Recording this with my phone. Sometimes I can get it to... Follow me down and get a little less blurry. Is that better? Okay. So we're going to go ahead and do this again. I have my pressing pillow. Oh, before I forget, I got a new pressing mat and this is just another option. I still have my pressing pad. I still love it. However, I have started sewing a little bit and I thought I wanted to get something um, a little more sturdy. This is called a Steady Betty and I don't know if you've heard people mention them. I bought this online. It's a little bit pricey. This is about um, $46. But this is a, this is like an ironing board um, foam. So when you put your, let me grab a piece of fabric, when you put your fabric or whatever on it, it doesn't move. It's not slick. So you can iron on this and everything, it kind of doesn't stick. It also is 
it's like two pieces of wood. I don't know if you can see that that are covered in this. It's 16 by 16. And again, it's called Steady Betty. It's a quilting tool for people who are ironing quilting squares. But anyway, the pressing pad, the, the one that I've shown before, still works fine. Like I said, this is just kind of an upgrade for me. But the other one works fine. You don't have to have this. Okay, let's get back to our project. So we're going at 3.05, 30 seconds. You reset it, it shut off on me here. Waiting for it to heat back up a little bit. Also great to hold an embroidery hoops while you put the fabric stabilizer in. That's a good idea. I really don't sew, but I have been, the because of the maker, I've been cutting out, and I don't know if you've seen me post them, but I've been making these little bags. While we're waiting, I'll grab one. <coughs> But anyway, this is the bags that I've been making with the maker. I just cut the pattern out and have been making them kind of fun. All right, we're all heated up. So 3.05, 30 seconds. I've got my fabric that's been treated with heat and bond, heat and bond side down. I have my pressing pillow inside. If you don't have a pressing pillow, you might want to put some parchment paper, just something to keep that adhesive from going all the way through. And we're going to set it down hit the timer and I am going to put a little more pressure on this than I usually do just because this is so porous. So, you know, they say gentle pressure, but it really depends on what you're applying your iron on to. Norma says she uses the Steady Buddy for quilting. I'm surprised how many people have them. I'd never heard of them until just recently. Can you like the pattern for the bags? Okay, that worked great. Now I can actually lift that up a little bit right there. I'm gonna go one more time. Oh, link. Um, it's just four rectangles, basically. But I can, I can make it and, uh, I didn't save it, but I can make one and link it. So we're just going one more time. I saw one spot that wasn't, didn't appear to be pressed down real well. But I'm really surprised how well this is sticking on burlap with the easy press. Yeah, now we're good. Came right out. There's no uh, ultra or heat and bond stuck to that. So that's my really simple Halloween bag to put my project in. I can't show you what the project is. Yeah, this is a real open weave. This was just a piece of burlap I saw at Walmart and their um, remnants. I mean, you can see how, hopefully you can see how open that weave is. And it worked great. So that's kind of fun. While I have you here and we're chatting about the Easy Press, I actually just took this out of the wash. It's still wet. This is six washes. Everything's holding up great. I don't see any difference on either side. I've been washing it inside out and hang, hanging it dry. And I'm just marking it with a Sharpie down here so I can keep track of how many washes. I know that's not the most beautiful marking there, but just want you to see. So, so far the Easy Press is staying right at, up there with the Heat Press, and I do keep checking the edges of the letters to see if they're lifting. I don't see any lifting. And to be honest with you, I normally put my things that I iron on right in the dryer, but I'm trying not to do that with this just so I can be consistent. And this shirt's probably going to look really bad pretty soon because I'm putting it in every load I do, whether they're lights or darks or whatever. I'm not drying it inside out. Um, I'm washing it inside out and then I just put it on a hanger to dry. 
So again, we tried heat and bond on fabric with the Easy Press. It worked great. I have a new ironing mat. This is the Steady Betty. You did a burlap with your printer. Any special thing you put your printer on? <coughs> burlap with my printer. I don't remember what I did with my printer on burlap. Um, I'm not sure what you're talking about, Sheila. Jeannie's saying that was Maymay, I think. Oh, yeah, Maymay did a print and cut um, on burlap. She had a special burlap that had paper, uh, like a paper backing on it, I think. Yeah, that was, that was Maymay. All right. Any other questions before I let you guys go? I have actually have the grandkids back in town this weekend, and they ran over to their other grandparents. So I just had a few minutes here. I thought I'd pop on. The study buddy can take heat. It looks like I wasn't sure if it would be able to withstand the. Oh yeah, it. That's the nice thing about it is this doesn't get real hot at all. I think it's because of the wood in there. Just got my easy press yesterday. Can't wait to play this weekend. This project is so cute. And yes, please, if you could share the project for your bags you made, that I can share the um, the pattern. Like I said, it's basically just rectangles. However, I don't. I'm not a sewist, so I would be very hesitant to do a tutorial on how to put it together, because I'm probably people who are sewist watch it and are cringing. Um, Jennifer, yes, we just finished up. We put um, the fabric applique using heat and bond on the back of the fabric, cut it fabric side up, or the pretty side up on my Cricut Maker, and then we set the easy press to 305 for 30 seconds, and I actually ended up doing two intervals of 30 seconds. And this is a real loose weave, um, coarse burlap. It worked fine. Do you need any other accessories for the heat press, like a mat? Um, yeah, you need something to iron on. You need a hard, flat surface, not a plastic, um, like a plastic table or anything that's going to give, not an ironing board that has, because ironing boards have that variegated bottom. And so there's not a, a solid surface for the easy press so you don't want to use an um, ironing board so anything like a countertop or this is just my desktop surface um, you can use a towel I also if you've seen any of my previous videos or not I also have this ironing mat I got at Target for uh, around five dollars something like that Walmart has them JC Penney's has them um, some people are using quilted ones that I'm a little hesitant because of the texture because you really want to have flat solid flat but um, you just basically need a hard flat surface and then something to protect it I miss whatever you said about the steady bed this is a steady betty um, mat that I just purchased on Amazon it's it is a little pricey but it's um, a lot of quilters use it Steady Betty is on sale at Joann's. Oh, I didn't even know Joann's carried them. That's awesome. Um, yeah, it's, it's like two thin pieces of wood. It's double-sided. And the beauty of it is when you're ironing on it, nothing, your fabric or whatever you're using doesn't shift. And this stays cool. What did I use for my drawstring? It's just Baker's Twine. Just some Halloween Baker's twine. $39.59 for a $16. Oh, that's a great deal. I paid $46 on Amazon for my study buddy. Um, thanks, Lorna. All right, you guys. Again, if you um, just got your Easy Press or this is your first time watching one of my videos, please subscribe and join us over in our Facebook group called 
Cricut Easy Press slash Iron On Education and Inspiration or Inspiration and Education. How about a mini ironing board? DB, it's flat without cover. <coughs> Anything that's solid, flat surface. It's not going to warp when you're putting your press down because it's very important that you have a flat, consistent heat. Bye, Georgia. All right, guys, I've got to go. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you soon. Bye.